Okay, so this is a video about the ABS problem that these 2000 uh, Chevy trucks and SUVs has. Um, when I bought this truck a couple months ago, it had the ABS light on and the uh, parking brake light on. And I've read a lot about it. Some people think it's just the uh, wheel speed sensors in the hubs. Um, some people say it's just the ground. But I had a feeling that it was the ABS control module, which is located directly underneath the driver's seat, underneath the truck, next to the, uh, the frame rail. Um, I found a company, myairbags.com, that repairs them. If you go to their website, it's a little bit more expensive. It's like $79 to have it repaired. I found them on eBay. They actually were providing the service on eBay. It was $49 plus they uh, charge $12 for shipping. You send them your module and within 24 hours they'll send it back out. So I sent it out Monday. Uh, I got an email Wednesday saying they received it and then... I think it was Saturday I received it back. I just put it back in, and it seems to be working perfectly. Um, as you can see, there's also that uh, fuel gauge problem where I think it's a, a problem with the ground where if the tank is full and you sit still for too long, it will read empty. Now, if I were to start rolling, it would automatically, automatically flash back up to full, but um, I'm not too concerned about that. Also, this is a 2000 Silverado Z71, so uh, if you noticed, that is not the stock cluster. Um, I had the Escalade cluster in my 97 Chevy Z71, and I like the look of it. I like the fact that it reads up to 120 miles an hour. And the perk of this one is that it also has transmission temperature. It's a direct swap. All you have to do is just unbolt the stock one, bolt this one in. The only issue is my truck does not have 94,183 miles on it. It actually has somewhere around 115,000. The mileage in these clusters is stored in the cluster, not actually in the computer. So at some point, I'm going to have to bring it to a dealer. I think it's between $80 and $100 to have it... Um, recalibrated for the mileage. I have a picture from the moment that I put it in and it makes a picture from when I took the old one out so I can um, compare the mileage and I can actually get the accurate mileage. Um, you would think that having lower mileage on your truck could be cool but it's not honest and on the title it says when I bought the truck at 113,000 that that's what the mileage would be so that'd be a little bit fishy. Um, other than that, the only thing is I recently put in a uh, Gibson Super Truck cat back. Um, it sounds great. I love it. Um, only other thing I've done to this truck besides minor fixing thing like a window regulator is I put in a cold air intake. Um, I just like the sound. It makes better sound for both of them. I don't know if I buy into the whole uh, performance upgrade. But this video was supposed to just be about the ABS problem, which is now gone. Uh, I wish I had a video of it beforehand, where on this side, the ABS light was on, and on this side, it was the parking brake on. And it was intermittent. Um, sometimes whenever the, the weather was cold, or if it was... Um, raining outside, sometimes it would act differently, sometimes lights wouldn't be on, but 90% of the time, the uh, lights would be on. Uh, I'm just hoping it's not some sort of fluke that they're off. Um, I mean, I just put it on, drove around the block, and lights are staying off, so that's a, that's a good thing. Uh, I hope to have more updates on my truck. Um, I wish I would have done it with my old truck, but I didn't. But I'm going to try to keep this truck video recorded uh, quite often. Y'all have a good day.